Monty, are you doing my video for me? Beautiful boy. <laughs> Hi guys, so I'm back with another Poundland haul and this is the first one of July. Uh, it's not a massive one, but the, I got some pretty good stuff. Like the makeup was literally amazing in there today. So yeah, I thought I would share with it, share it with it, share it with you. Um, everything that I'm going to show you was definitely a pound, wasn't it? Yes, it was all a pound. And so we've got from makeup to food and all homeware bits in between and blah de blah de blah. So the usual everyday stuff so let's crack on we'll get the food out of the way because like that's probably not in my opinion but in other people's opinions the most boring so the first thing is a five pack of monster munch pickled onion now i literally change what crisps i fancy like every time i go in there and this time it was pickled onion Oh no, something's leaked in my bag and I've now got purple a purple leg. Okay, so this is going to be a disaster. Something has leaked and is taking the dye off the crisp packet. And now I have a purple leg. Oh, I know exactly what it is as well. So I'll show you this now because this is what's leaked. It is Drain Bright. And I've heard really good things about this because basically, like when I like our drains, our plugs are blocked basically, I think anyway, that it's just taking water really long to go down. So I'm gonna give this a go, but it's really pissed me off that it's leaked like that because everything's gonna be bloody ruined. Oh, we can't have everything, can we? I'm just gonna move you back because you're way too in my face. Right, next, let's go back to food. Ooh. I can't even think straight now because that's literally really pissed me off. Uh, <coughs> Butter kiss, toffee popcorn, snicks, bleh, six snack packs. So these are the little baby ones. Can't go wrong with a packet of popcorn. So that's that. They're mine as well. Um, so Samuel always says that he really likes shortbread and when he goes to work at people's houses and people give him, sh like older people give him shortbread. So I bought him these shortbread biscuits and I think they look really cute. Not sure, so delicious shortbread selection, heritage shortbread shape. Doesn't say how many you get or anything, I don't think. But 300 grams worth. So yeah, those. There was loads of different ones to select, like to pick from. They had like some in a metal tin. And they had them ones. And they had just the basic like rectangle ones with the holes in. But I thought I'd go give those ones a go. Right. Foodie, foodie, food. It's all got the purple stuff on it. I don't want to get it on my new t-shirt. Sammy's Mars chocolate brownies. If you've watched any of my other hauls, you'll know that these are his favourites. So some of them, and these are also his favourites, and I think they're fucking grim. Because I hate any of the sort of sweets with the cream inside them, I don't like. But they're his favourites of them. These are my ones, Haribo Super Mix. And then some honey roasted cashews, which are my favourites. And I tried the, I can't remember what the flavour of the other ones were, honey roasted something else. And they had the little bobbles on and I tried them, but they weren't, they were not nice. This is the last bit of food. And then Sammy's Ready Salted Crisps. And you get seven of these. And they're about the same size as Walkers. 
Yeah. So, seven of those for a pound, so that's pretty good. Oh, my leg's really annoying me. We'll go to the little couple of doggy bits, because that's boring, isn't it? So I got them some Pedigree Tasty Bites Chewy Cubes. They love these. They didn't have their normal like jumbo, bones, but I get them, so. And I also got them these chew sticks, chicken flavoured from Mr. Good Lad. Made with love for your dog by Mr. Good Lad. Yeah. So there's these. And I think they're like that. I don't know. Kind of like the pig ear material. Material? Texture. But yeah, I'm sure they'll enjoy them. And then the Dante Fuffy Balls. Some of these sachets because he will not eat anything out of a tin. Right. Next I got some more Dishmatic heads. Free refills for a pound which is really good because in Tesco's I'm pretty sure it's like £2.50 for two or something ridiculous and they're black. And I've not seen black ones before. I've got that all over my nails. So, yeah, I was pretty psyched when I saw them. I got some food bag clips. Now I've needed these for ages, but you know when you like go into a shopping, you can't. I kind of forgot like what they're supposed to look like, so I never really look out for them. But anyway, that's those. So like we always have like a big bag of popcorn or a big bag of crisps that are just left open, so. Oh, I can't wait to chuck away. Oh, that made my teeth cringe. Is that it in there? Something else in there? Um, next, just two of these little bake ware, it says in here. These little pots because I always make like a massive cottage pie or whatever, like but too big. So I thought if I make like one each for us, it would probably be better. And they're really cute and they're grey, so. Those, they used to have pink, but I couldn't see the pink one. Uh, but I think the pink ones might have been slightly smaller. Right, what have we got in here then? I'll save all the makeup bits for last because that's exciting. Two packets of Huggies and I like these ones because they've got Mickey on them. So, yeah, but I won't explain these because you know what baby wipes are for. Wiping your ass. Oh, yay, 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 yay. I got the Argan Oil Hair Marks and this is the Nutrifix one. And it smells literally amazing. Oh, look what's happened in there. Oh, it's just fallen back to normal. But yeah, that smells really good. I ran out of my other one, so needed that. Um, hair grips or whatever people call these dolly pins or something. Basically, I used to have the back of my head shaved and it's grown back, but it's not long enough to go up in my ponytail, so I need to give in and start wearing these pins. Two shower gel, two shower gels, amazing. These are both limited edition. That, no, you can't smell it. I think I would get used to that by now. Yeah, both smell lovely. This is the Flamingo one. And the Mermaid one. So they're pretty cute. Right, and then the last bit is makeup. So I'll get this all up. Is this well, this is technically not makeup. This is that sparkle and shine little Poundland make, and it's just some of that gypsy shrine. So, body and face jewels, which is really annoying because I really want my nan and granddad went to a festival today, and I really wanted Nan to wear these, but she's already gone. So, yeah, that's them. Not sure what for I bought these. 
but what for I bought these? What I bought these for, I think I meant to say. But you never know when I'll need a bit of this. So that's that. In the same make, I got this little hat. Fuck me, what is wrong with me? This little hand sanitizer to go in my bag, so I always like to have one of these in my bag. Don't know if it smells of anything. Well. Oh, with sweet rose petal fragrance. I won't smell it because it's all sealed up and we know that takes me ages. Right, makeup, makeup, makeup. Where shall I start? Let's go. So I bought two things from the Disney villains. I bought the Maleficent eyelashes. <sighs> the Maleficent eyelashes. So they have, I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up, but they have like some green glitter here on the like outsides of the lashes. So I thought they were really, really cute. Glue's not included, did I just see that say? Yeah. But I'm sure I've got glue hanging around somewhere. But I've always really wanted to get this stuff, I thought it was really childish, but then I thought to myself, when, since when do I actually give a shit about something being childish, really, come on. So yeah, then. And then the other Disney villain thing I picked up, because these were the only two things I could find, otherwise I would have bought more. There was another pair of eyelashes actually, but they were just plain, so I thought there was not really much point. And this is, who is this? Medusa, Medusa? Cabela de Vil. Yeah. I'll do a little swatch of this because I need to see. I want to see if it's actually. Because on the back it says that's what it's going to look like. But I can't see that looking like that. So let's have a look. That's actually. That's actually really nice. I really, really like that colour. So that is the first makeup item. Next, I will show you this lipstick because this is pretty, this would go with the blue quite well actually. And it's the make, what make is it? Oh, Maybelline. So this is that, and then it's this colour. If we do a little swatch of this, wow. It's like a metallic -y navy sort of colour, I guess. Let me turn the light on. doesn't make any difference whatsoever but yeah so it's like a metallic -y navy color and I thought that was really awesome and even if I don't wear this like on a random day it's like always good to have a dark lipstick for Halloween that's actually really pretty though and they go so nicely together and it's called gunmetal metallic so that is the second makeup item Next is a L'Oreal eyeshadow, and the packaging's like that, and then it's obviously a glitter, it's like a champagne glitter. Wow, that's lovely. So that's that one, and that is the make, uh, sorry not the make, the shade Stardust. Uh, next I have two MUA eyeshadow palettes. And I say palettes, but they're not really palettes because they're teeny tiny. But they're like the little smoky eye kits that they do. I hate the packaging, it's so friggin' annoying, like it's so unnecessary. 
but then it's not actually because then you don't know if anyone's shoved their fingers in it. So this is the first one. So that's like a proper snaky eyed one. So it has a little applicator in there. Let's do a little swatchy swatch. This, because they're like in little balls, it's gonna be really hard to, wow, to swatch. Right. So that's this one, and that is those three. So this one, this one, and this one. So that's they're all all these eyeshadow eyeshadows so far are so pigmented. That's like amazing for a pound. Like, come on! I've literally just been in last week, been in Superdrug, spending God knows what on eyeshadow palettes. Who's the mug? And this is the next one. Oh, I didn't look at what. So this is, the first one is Trio Eyeshadow Innocence, this is called, although it looks far from innocent. So then this one, and this one is Trio Eyeshadow Chocolate Box. I'll do these on the inside of my arm because we run in our room. So they're like kind of a like a similar sort of thing, but how am I gonna show you this? I didn't really think that through, did I? <laughs> I can't twist my arm. Here we go. So those are those three colours, which again, so nice for a pound. And then the last two items of the whole haul, I feel like this has literally been the longest video I've ever done in my life, so I'm really sorry about that. It is another MUA and this is a Luxie London Velvet Lip Liqueur. In the shade Serene, I think. Yeah, Serene. It looks like this. We've got a little pack. Wow, that's like proper Barbie pink. I'm not going to put that on my lips because that will just annoy me. But. How nice is that? Panand has come through today. And then the last thing is this Rimmel waterproof gel eyeliner and it's a green colour, which I only ever wear black eyeliner, but I like gel eyeliners and it was a pound, so I couldn't resist. This is the little pot that's not going to show up because my camera's a dick but it says Kate with a heart and this is the little brush that you get ooh it's kind of like metallic-y let's see that I'm sorry, I literally just said that this has been the longest video and I'm still just chilling with my gel eyeliner, you know. And that's actually really nice. I really like that. So like, those together I might try and make some little combo out of them. But yeah, that is everything I got in Poundland today. I'm probably going to go back to see if there's any more makeup lurking around sometime next week probably so there will be another haul to follow and hopefully some more different haul I've got like some 
other stuff coming up so yeah but I won't say anything just in case it doesn't happen so yeah if you like this video please do give it a thumbs up and please do subscribe to support my channel and I will see you all again soon bye so this is really random but as if there is still people out there that turn their nose up at Poundland like who are you Poundland is the best <laughs>